again and thanks for watching. My name is Joseph Catrona. This is a quick tips video from Go Engineer regarding the uh, process for setting up export rules to send out some XML data from Enterprise PDM to be used by some other downstream application. So to get started, the very first thing we'll need is permission. Okay, so for any given user, we would want to check that uh, the administrative permission update ERP import export settings. Uh, we'll want to make sure that the user has that setting. The next step is to create the bill of materials. Now, this may or may not be a literal bill of materials in the sense that you would normally think of it, uh, but we need some way to organize the data that we're interested in exporting, so we'll use bill of materials to do that. So let's say, for example's sake, I'm exporting number. I'll create another column for description, and along with that, I'll export the revision value. So this sets up an export format. So we'll name the bill of materials appropriately and say OK. Now that we have the bill of materials or the data structure that we want to export, we can use that in a data import export rule. Okay, so I'll uh, choose to create a new export rule by right clicking. The first option is to output the XML files to what folder? So I'll go ahead and choose some simple folder on my C drive, uh, perhaps a temp folder. Uh, in your case or in a production scenario, this may be out on a network drive where the downstream application could frequently pull. Now what do we want to name the file? We have some options here to select maybe the month and the day. Maybe I want to do a dash and then file name. And I can even do some variable from the file itself, file type, for example. Now we've got several options for the type of data to export and the format of the exported data. In my case, I'm going to use one of the computed bombs, in particular the one that I just created, and I'll go ahead and export using um, all configurations and output the where used information with that um, using the as built. We've got several different options down here. Maybe you only want to export if this is an activated bill of materials. So once we have that configured, there is an option here for alias sets. It's quite possible that the downstream application needs to know that rev is equal to revision. For example, if I say OK to that, I can go to a variable alias set and uh, I might tell the ERP system that um, in enterprise, the same value that's called project name, maybe in the other system is called proj nm. Um, so we can set that up if need be. Um, so I'll double check the export rule one last time to make sure export test exporting to the temp file with this name and that should be good to go. Now we need to use this somewhere in our workflow process. For my CAD files I'm gonna make sure that the approval whenever a file is approved we're gonna go ahead and as an action attached to this transition export some data export to XML. Okay, and for all files, I'm going to go ahead and run this export script that I just created, export test. Okay, and say okay to that. Be sure to save. And this is a very basic example, but it should get you started. So the next thing I need to do is navigate into the vault. That would be the Acme vault. And then I'm just going to submit some file through that approval process. Send for approval and finally submit it through the approved transition. Okay, so it's dragging along its respective part file and we can see that now this file is released so it has successfully transitioned through the approval process. And so this may take a few moments to initiate, but eventually I will be able to navigate to the temp file and have a look at the resultant XML data. And eventually there they are under the temp file as requested in XML format. 
So very basic example should get us started. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to post a comment.